Hello, good day. Hi, I am Engineer Elton Ian, your instructor in LX302 Robotics Technology. Now I'm going to discuss in this module, module one, what is robotics technology. So the objectives of this module First is, you will be able to differentiate between a robot and a machine. Second is, you're going to familiarize the law of robotics. And third objectives is, you will be able to identify a machine, either a robot or not. Okay, what is robotics? Robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering consisting of mechanical engineering electronics engineering computer science engineering and information science engineering so mechanical engineering is responsible for the design of the machines no? or the the mechanic or the mechanic system or the mechanical system of the robot and the electronics engineering is responsible for the sensors and the electronic circuitry of the robot of a robot and the computer science engineering and information science engineering is responsible for the processing of the signal programming the signal you no know, for for giving some some set of instructions on how does the robot act or do so it's something uh, the specific job so that is the purpose of the computer science engineering for programming and information science engineering is for the collections or the designing of the information to be uh, gathered in the programming system and electronics is the one who process the set of instructions and send some signal for the actuator to move the mechanism of the robot so again robotics is consisting of mechanical engineering in the discipline consists of the discipline of mechanical engineering electronics engineering computer science engineering and information science engineering so what is robotics Robotics is first coined by Isaac Asimov way back in 1940. Isaac Asimov formulated the three, three laws of robotics. The so first law, a robot may not endure, no? hindi siya makasakit no? sa tao. A human being, or through an action, no? sa sa pamagi no nga uh, dili siya makaallow no a human being to come to harm so, so in a simple way no ang first law nag identify sa usa ka robot no kay kinanglan ang robot dili siya maka makapasakit no usually physically sa human being or sa tao that is the first law of robotics. The second law of robotics is a robot must obey no? orders given it by a human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. No? So kinanglan ang robot, no? sa second law, mo follow siya no? of orders or instructions, usually in the program, no? from the programmers, uh, given it by the human beings. No? Except kung makaharm siya sa, sa human being na mo violate siya, no? Or mo conflict siya sa first law na dili siya pwede mo ka pasakit or makaharm, no? Sa human being. So, inanglan, no? Na ang robot mo dili siya makapasakit ng tao, then kinanglan po mo follow siya sa order sa human being. And the third law, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first and second law. No? So, 
pwede siya no mo protect sa isole ng mga security no ng mga robot na uh, sample tong si RoboCop no di nga salida ah, no nga dili siya mo mo masakit og tawo then mo follow siya orders sa usa ka sa tawo no dayon mo protect mo siya no sa tawo to any harm na example no sa industrial robot kanang mo alsa og mga bugat no ng mga object so sa tawo kung mo alsa ka bugat so na possibility nga mo ma display sa imong bolts no or mga balik ka or something nga tungod sa kabugat sa imong dalon so pwede ang robot no ang mo mo mudo sa trabaho nga ikaw dili ni mo makaya but the robot makaya example wag tug bulkan no? sa volcano to to search no on sa mga materials nga naa sa sulod sa volcano so dili man pwede ang tawo mo sulod sa volcano para mo search sa mga materials no kung sa makita dira so that is why mo gamit ta og robot no nga mo help no kung sa imong instruction sa pod sugod ni mong robot nga mo ang sa sulod dito sa bulkan og mo search no sa mga materials no nga naa ma found dito nga inyong gi pangita so that is the sample no nga application lang sa robot example no wag to tao ilalom sa dagat when uh, yeah, grabe na kayo ang pressure no sa tubig sa ilalom sa dagat so that is why we create a submarine no robot nga go deeper then using camera nga makita ra sa computer no kung unsay actual no nga visual dito sa ilalom sa dagat so that is the purpose of robots okay that is and the third law so first law uh dili siya mo harm og human being second law mo follow siya og uh mo follow siya og order so human beings nga dili siya mo conflict sa first law nga magpasakit og tao then the third law is to protect its own existence as long as its protection does not conflict with the first and second law so mo siya no sa security sa human being uh, kung di na makaya then pwede siya trabaho sa robot so what is the actual meaning of a robot so, robot comes from as the slavic word robota which means work or labor so na siya no trabaho or ni laborer no ni bang sulugod ni mo siyang sulugod so robot is basically a machine no Siya, makina that can be programmed to do a complex series of action. So a robot is a machine, but not every machine is a robot. So kato lang mga machine, no nga mo follow siya instruction, pwede siya ni mo sugoon, and mo think siya, no sa mo think siya. No. So next is how does the robot no or how does the machine can called can be called a robot so there are three pillar of robotics so a robot can sense by the use of sensors no we have the light sensors the camera the temperature sensor the gas sensor the touch sensors the felt sensors accelerometer and more so in human beings there we are using five senses no sa tuwang uh, body the eye no kaning atong mata for the visual sense ang atong ilong for the smell no? or the odor sense ang atong malunggan for the sound no maka sense ta sound and for our tongue no ang atong dila maka sense ta og taste and ang ato ang kamot makasense ko siya og uh, ini touch no touch of same thing so sa robotics ang sense no uh, ginagamit la no is the sensor then the second pillar of robotics is the robot must know how to think no? 
in human beings, we have the brain, ato ang utok. Now, in robotics, we are using microprocessors, microcontrollers, usually the Arduino, no? ato ang ginagamit sa ato ang robotics to control and to process sa ato ang actuators. And from sensors, no? so aside from Arduino, we have big microcontroller and Raspberry Pi microcontroller. And the last pillar of robotics is the act actuators. This only the AC motor, no, to magpamove sa imong kamot, sa imong robot, DC motors, servo motors, stepper motor, solenoids, and more. Muna siya, again, the three pillar of robotics, no? Nga ang machine, matawag lamang siya o robot, kung ang machine, able to sense, able to think, and able to act. So, a machine that can sense, that can think, that can act, it is called a robot. But, a machine that does not know how to sense, does not know how to think, and that must know how to act. So it is not a robot, but it is a machine by itself. So therefore, a machine that can sense, think, and act is a robot, but not all robot or not, but not a robot or not every machine is a robot. Okay, so that's all for today because we're only discussing the introduction no? sa tuwang what is robotics. Hopefully, no? na tayo nasabdan ni Ragmay sa tuwang module 1. So, different, differentiate between a robot and a machine. So, manin siya, no? ang, ang robot or a machine that can think Sense that can sense, think, and act is a robot, but not every machine is a robot. Then, familiar, familiarize the law of robotics. The first law is does not harm a human being. Second law is follow orders, and third law is to secure, no, to protect the human being. And whether you're going to identify a machine, either a robot or not. So, mo to siya ganiya, no? Ako ang machine, uh, makasink siya, makasense siya, o maka-act. So, tawagun siya o robot. Pero, of dili siya maka-act, makasense, o maka-act. So, dili siya robot. It is a machine itself. Thank you so much, and this is your instructor in ALX302, Robotics Technology, again, General Elton Ian M. Ho, under the College of Industrial Technology, Negros Oriental State University. University. Thank you, and next, see you next on Module 2.